my best view best wishes to all the viewers and participants welcome back to dt studio the dt studio is one organized by the director of technical education in karnataka <coughs> now i am discussing a course related to uh, sixth semester diploma that is polytechnic civil engineering branch it is project management and evaluation now already i have discussed am um, about the course course contents and also introduction class and today again i will repeat for 15 minutes i will repeat the uh, course content and whatever the we have discussed till date and i will go ahead with the course that is project management and evaluation no earlier it was construction management the construction management project management now both are similar topics now we will discuss let us see what we can have the best now please remember the project management when the civil engineers are dealing with no i am please remember i am talking to the civil engineers i am discussing the issues with the civil engineers now it is understood that the people with me now are all related to civil engineering so therefore the civil engineers the engineers civil engineers particular in particular knows about the design drawings and also the estimation and material character material quality no quality assessment and all these issues related and we know that everybody knows it you know how to prepare the drawings of the building drawings of the bridges drawings of the irrigation structures and drawings of the roads and also you know how to calculate the quantities which are involved in construction activity now therefore now we will discuss about the management project management so <coughs> a project is a project is nothing but it is the construction of a road construction of a building the construction of an industrial building construction of the road construction of the dam construction of the canal whatever may be the facilities the now please remember the civil engineering profession is one of the noblest profession because we are providing the facilities to the general public now one should understand the that is the the civil engineering profession say now one should understand clearly that is who is civil engineer who is do, what is job what is doing and over the period of over the years over the in the recent over the years now what facilities we are now we are utilizing for our life and what you are going to give and what we are going to provide the to the you now present scenario now you know that wherever you go in the urbanization wherever you find you will find that is the hindrances now it is very difficult to travel for five for five minutes travel for five kilometer travel we are taking more than half an hours more than half an hour suppose if you go to the metros or uh, like you know uh, class one cities like bengaluru or you know uh, Bum mumbai or any other metros if you go there to travel just 5 km it will take more than 30 minutes or sometimes 1 hour is it not now as that means we are not provided we are not providing the facilities in a proper or the right manner therefore it is now our job to provide to create the facilities to the general public now because without as a free traffic we want and everybody wants a beautiful mean everybody, everybody should get the good good drinking water whatever drinking water and everybody should get the home and everybody will get free environment that is good quality environment therefore it is the job of civil engineers we need to create we need to provide this is the one important area now we should remember always we are creating the facilities to the general public is it not now anybody when you when you look at when you look at the map google map you if you search any city any town please remember it is 
its development is recognized by its construction activities is it not when you look at when you traveling now by air when you look at look down now you can see now you can access you can assess or you can say this city is beautifully developed by seeing the buildings the bridges the road network road connectivity and when you look at those area now you can find now it is the one city developed by that this city has developed or not developed that is we can recognize it now therefore the contribution of civil engineer civil engineer is very high in developing the society is it not therefore we are called civil engineers civilization we are creating the civilization and we are providing the facility to the general public now remember this now therefore now we'll see in to maintain the project we need some certain qualities now what are those qualities and how it has to be managed and what is our role is it not being a civil engineer being a project engineer what is our role and how it has to be managed we'll see we'll discuss one by one and there is a, we have i will i am going to discuss for another 21 hours now in 21 hours i will tell you one by one one by one will i will describe each and every aspect of of the management that is project management you are know, big after becoming a civil engineer are being a, taking the after taking the responsibility of a project what are our duties and what are our you no know, responsibilities and how it has to be discharged what are the procedures to be followed so this we are learning here and again i will tell you please remember that now we are civil engineers already we are becoming civil engineers. when you understand the drawing given by an expert that is maybe a bridge drawing maybe a building drawing or maybe a build road road drawing or whatever maybe when you look at the estimation you are able to understand is it not now therefore now then then how to manage these things now when you look at the building you can understand everybody will understand oh it is done by civil engineer it is one of the beautiful building when you look at the road everybody will understand that it is done by civil engineers is it not therefore how we have built it and what are the procedures to be followed now we will discuss one by one is it not now we see now the management the management that is it deals with that that is effective and efficient management of construction work effective efficient management of construction works construction work means you can understand it is a project the project may be anything civil engineering projects or maybe other projects or any projects no let us understand now the essential that is the essential requirements of a civil engineer who should one should understand that is functional utility the purpose for which the building has been done the purpose for which the project is been done it should be properly utilized is it not we must have the, the we must have this in the mind always and the second one is that is structural stability structural stability it should be stable now when you are when you are building a, a building when you are constructing a building it should be stable and it serve the purpose it should be serve is it not now similarly when safety is one of the utmost care each and every person should know about it is it not safety is one of the that is primary aspect in each and every area wherever you go well safety is the utmost care go everywhere in every aspect everywhere you need to take care of the safety and the other one is the another important aspect element is that is economy that is economy and cost control is it not cost control and or we can call it as cost effective now for example for this everybody will ask how we can build the home for less cost is it possible to build the home for less cost can you do it not possible we can't we can't we can't do it we can't do it for the less cost see we have we have to construct the building for efficient is not effective costing effective costing means how we will give the material in the field in the market for lesser price now may what what market price is available the market value that we have to pay and get the material any material maybe you may get some discount for one or two percent like but we don't get the 
less cost you don't get it for the less cost maybe maybe a the our oh, shop owner maybe your friend he may leave his profit part some part of his profit it is not possible to achieve the building for the less price not at all never don't say anybody that is i will get you the building for the lower price no it is not possible we can't build we can't build anything for the less price it is cost effective is it not that is a one of the most important management part remember this no we can't give the any project for less cost remember this we can give the project cost effective is it not cost effective means by the right material by the right quantity and minimize the wastage is it not then it will give you the effective building is it not effective structure now always remember this we can't it is not at all never it is not possible to be for the less price or the less cost is it not remember this. and speed one of the most important element that is essential requirement requirement of the construction management speed that means how do we get the speed speed means every day continuously from day night can we do it no sometimes we may need to do it but you have to organize the in a proper manner material man machine everything should be organized then you can achieve the minimum time required to complete the project so that is the speed minimum time therefore you have to plan you have to schedule everything should be ordered organized in a right way in the right manner then we can up. and at the same time so uh, please remember quality is another aspect important aspect one should remember about it quality <coughs> any qual any 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 event any construction activity you we must give the quality and your quality will be from the beginning to the end now suppose if you are building the road if you are constructing the road from drawing from surveying from the beginning surveying to the that is painting work is it not from now you must look at each and every aspect that is the quality of the material quality of the workmanship and quality of your finishing and the cost now everything includes that is the quality is it not for less that is cost effective and that is usable and stable now we must give the product is it not therefore we need to understand and please remember this it is a skill it is a skill now we can gain over a period of time over a period of time it needs some time because each and every each and each and every aspect should be learned each and every aspect should be understand then only we can execute then you can become the manager and also i request you all to note this that is number 1 to become an efficient effective manager number 1 first one please reduce limit your desires is it not compromise with your desires number 1 and number 2 you must love the job you must love the project you must love the people around you those who are working with you is it not the first one always you have to compromise your desires and second one is you must love the people around you is it not then definitely you will become a good manager is it not what wherever you work in whichever field you do it now if you observe if you follow these things follow apply, apply these rules now definitely you will become a good leader is it not you will be definitely you will become a good manager is it not compromise your desires compromise your desire means we can't work without food food is necessary shelter is necessary facility you provide whatever the facility you want to do it you take those facilities and desires less desires love you are the people around working with you is it not love your job then definitely you will become a good manager okay so please remember this therefore you can achieve everything you can achieve everything now we are discussing same thing again and again again in a different aspects is it not now therefore please note sometimes it will be asked in the examination for five marks is it not and similarly cm 
construction management or project management aims at coordinating and organizing the construction activity in terms of manpower, material, finance, and so that work is completed in optimum cost. Optimum cost, remember that, that is cost effective, optimum cost. Optimum cost using the best quality material and best techniques, is it not? Best quality material and best techniques. For example, in construction of a, you know, a dam, in construction of construction of dam, you now if you are a project manager, you now you need you need to develop, you need to set up the best available technique because thousands of cubic meter concrete will be poured, doesn't it? Suppose if you are a project engineer for the, an apartment, you now during the process of concreting in foundation or in footing, we may need to get 100 cubic meters of concrete. Then you don't procure the material or site. Is it not? Don't procure the material or site and then get the people, get the machine and process it and prepare the concrete and pouring. Now this is the tedious job. Is it not? It is a tedious job. It may take that is two days, three days, four days. Is it not? This is the right, this is the usual way the people are doing it. Now techniques are, technology is available now. You just order the concrete to the ready mix concrete, is it not? There are many, many operators that are manufacturing the concrete and they will supply it to you, is it not? Then within half day you can complete the job. Without procuring the material, without procuring the machines, without procuring the people, men, you can get the product, is it not? Now that is, now that is how we have to exploit. Now, for example, suppose if you are manufacturing only five, if you are preparing five cubic meter of concrete, will you order for that? Will you order the ready mix concrete? No, because it is a very costly affair. Now, outside, we have to pre manufacture, prepare, and pour it. Is it not? Suppose if you are buying 100, if you are preparing 100 cubic meter of concrete, then no, not work preparing that site. Is it not? Don't prepare, don't collect the material because it takes too much time. It takes too much space and it waste, the material will be waste, the waste is also, is it not? No, therefore, let us ask, but be careful while ordering the concrete. Now, according to the requirement, according to the design, according to the necessity, according to the structural designer, no, he will specify, is it not? M25 concrete, is it not? M30 concrete, M20 concrete. M40 concrete, no, you have to order carefully. You are the project engineer, you are the project manager, you must give the best quality material, you must give the best, you must give the best quality product. To achieve this, you must need the knowledge, you should have the knowledge of concrete, is it not? Now in the concrete, please remember, now we have IES 456-2000. Do you know about it? IES 456-2000. 2000, isn't it? Now this is the concrete design code, isn't it? Concrete design code, you just go through that. Now what is the minimum content of cement used should be, must be used in cubic meter of concrete. In the structural design, the structural designer will specify it. The quantity of cement, <coughs> Some quantity of cement must be used. How much quantity should be used? Is it not? How much quantity should be used? It is the, it is specified or designed by the structural designer. Structural designer. Therefore, let us be very careful. Please remember, you must always keep IES 456. You know, if you want to become a good engineer, civil engineer, if you want to become a project manager, good project manager, now you must always keep, that is, you read. Now and then, you must read once or twice, isn't it? That? that is, your IES 456-2000. That specifies what is, how do you, how do you, how you have to decide the quality of the concrete? For example, the minimum content of cement 
in the cubic meter of concrete for RCC work is 320 kg. Please remember this. 300 IS 4 by 6 2000 kg. Why? 320 kilo. That is the minimum content, minimum cement content used for design or that is structural elements. Whereas one more class they have put. Now suppose if you are building the buildings, that is columns, beam, or slab, whatever you are building in the coastal region, coastal line, coastal region, though we must use as per the IS 46 2000 that specifies the minimum content of cement is that is 350 kilo, is it not? In a cubic meter of concrete. Like you know, we should have the thorough knowledge about the quality of the material. It? Therefore, order and get the material. But you are the master, you must say to the concrete manufacturer that is you must give this material. Is it not? Who is the job? Who has to decide what kind of material you want? That is you need to say that is I want this quantity, this quality of the concrete and the minimum content, cement content and slump is so much and water cement ratio is so much I want. Not you need to order to them. Is it not? Then you will get that is your speed with you. You know you can achieve the speed. Then you can get the cost effective structure. Is it not? Time is saved. Material wastage is saved. Is it not? And you will get the best quality of concrete. Therefore, the appropriate techniques. Is it not? Therefore, remember this quality of control that is material. Is it not? And also, development of manpower and machinery. The one of the most key element. Development of manpower and machinery. Manpower means we want the people. Is it not? I will tell you how, the, how many people we want in, a, in the construction activity. Is it not? Now, therefore, be careful. An economy in construction again, that is coordination between the different agencies involved in construction. Is it not? Coordination between different agencies. Sometimes we may, we may need to, the, that is the excavator, sometimes we may need to the, get the people from far, you know, uh, uh, that is uh, for our, what we called, uh, liquid proof. Now, we have different people for different purpose. There are experts available, hundreds of experts available for hundred jobs, isn't it? Therefore, you have to coordinate with them and get them for the right time, at the, for the right place, for the right job. Now, be careful in selecting the people, in selecting the material, then definitely we can give the best product. Isn't it? Like, you know, these are the key elements that is in construction management, <coughs> men, machine, men, machine, then material, then money. Isn't it? Four M's. If you know, if you know learn to manage these four M's, definitely you will become a good civil engineer, good manager. And plus, time. Time is that is your specify when you will start, when you are going to complete it. Remember this, always remember this, always keep this in your mind. And while writing the examination, also you must remember this. Now, this is very essential. And you must keep this in mind and to produce the answers. You will get best reason. And now, like you know, again, that is the material and machine. Already we have discussed about this in the previous classes. The men, men, that is construction people. These are the construction people. We are you now we will come across with these all these guys, all these people. Therefore, carefully we have to employ them at the right time and the right. And please, the objectives. Again, already I discussed. I told you that is that is method methodological, methodical, methodical, scientific planning. Planning must be perfect. Sequence must be perfect. Of one after the other, which job when it should be executed. That you have to prepare the document, isn't it? When you are preparing the project report, you need to prepare the that is document. Document means when, how much aggregate is required, when, that is how much fine aggregate is required, how much cement is required, when you need, you don't procure the material for your entire project, you need 1000 1000 bags of cement. Isn't it? 5,000 of back cement. Can you procure at your time? No, you have to schedule it properly. When we want 100 back, when we want 500 back, when we want 200 back, which month we want the 100 cubic meter aggregate, like you know, you have to plan. 
in the proper way we must plan it and that is systematic scheduling of material that is planning scheduling and setting up proper organization adequate for proper execution in accordance to design drawing specification that means you must allocate the people you must allocate the people that is different kinds of people now suppose if you are constructing a dam it is not possible to construct by 100 10 10 people are like you know or 20 people like you know when you are constructing the dam which is a very huge project now depending upon again size is on you need to employ the engineers you need to employ the carpenters you need to employ the masons you need to employ the machines mixers from them trucks that like you know we want many number of there are many things for construction activity and you need to employ the engineers who are those who are qualified they can understand that is the design drawing specification with it is in the allotted time now your each and every part you need to organize the people and proper supervision technical guidance now you must be behind the job isn't that you when you employ somebody that person should look out continuously he has to thoroughly he has to looking the people those who are working according whether they are doing it according to your design according to your drawing no any modifications or any guidance at each and every time don't don't neglect it if you want to become a good project engineer project manager don't neglect even you even a small element of the project isn't that in the marking from marking from marking to the painting from marking to the painting marking to painting you keep watch and employ the right persons isn't it and keep watching because uh, unfortunately now uh, this is the whole thing is organized and designed is everything done by the qualified engineers and the construction activity is taking place for with isn't it the labors isn't it they are not educated therefore we need to educate them isn't it? we may, we need to train them therefore we must be very careful in doing that and we are not we are that the mason or the helper we may make, make mistakes for that mistake we are responsible the mason is not responsible engineers are responsible isn't it supervisors are responsible isn't it unnecessary we are not supposed to scold them at the side we don't we don't we are not supposed to punish them isn't therefore keep watching continuously and keep guide them is not then we will get the better product <coughs> we are going to get the best product is not proper supervision technical guidance during execution to avoid the mistakes is not the mistake should be avoided then maintenance of stock materials that is now if it is a government project we must be very careful in maintaining the records is not that we will discuss later is not and similarly maintenance of tools plant machinery no maintenance of records mention the records of machinery condition and performance is not now let us be very careful when maintaining the that is machinery which are being used now because every year we need to get the registration or renewal and we need to pay the insurance insurance fee now keep update these records is not wherever you are working as a project manager that is keep the record records that is records of the machines and machinery very carefully you have to manage isn't it and also that is maintenance of accounts measurement works and payments now there is a chapter for this in this particular uh, issue there is a chapter we will discuss elaborately in when it comes to the that is after now there are two things now you are preparing the estimation estimation is the proposal isn't it estimated cost andaj patti isn't it then after completion of the job we are preparing the measure we are preparing the bills the how much work we have done it sometimes what happens you know when we are when we prepare the estimation we will anticipate something and we will prepare the estimation at the time of construction there may be a small deviation or small changes in the to job in the pro, in the project now therefore there is no correlation in accordance with the estimation only we need to construct the project in accordance with the estimation only we have to prepare the bills but 
there may be some small deviations. Therefore, estimation is the proposal, and bill is the that is the end product, final product. Is it not final product to make the payments? How much work we have done it? That is we have to measure, and now we will come to that. For that, we we can discuss in we will discuss it in the later class. There are so many things to be discussed in the measurement measurement works and payments. We will discuss about it. Labor and industrial management, human relations and labor welfare. Now we must we must keep update for each and every person. Now he there is a department. I will come to that later. Now I will tell you. So we must keep, we must take care of the welfare of the workers. We are we are those who are working in the project. And constitutional safety provisions of accidents, constitutional safety and prevention of accidents. Now we we must take care of this. Now there is again we have on another chapter. We will discuss in detail in the that particular chapter. And public relations to co ensure cooperation of public and other department in the in the speedy and the execution of the project. This is one of the most important task. Each each project manager or engineer know about it, is it not? Now, if you know, don't know this, now definitely we will be in so it is very difficult to input the project. Now, you have a construction team. That construction team comprises of many people, is it not? Engineers, that is architects, designers, and supervisors, technicians, drivers, masons, etc., etc. We have construction team. Now, apart from that, we have neighbors around us, is it not? Neighbors, that is the most dangerous part. Now we must take their goodwill and we have to manage them in the proper way. Now otherwise our project will get delayed by the our people around us, isn't it? Therefore we must take the safety of the people around us and we take their welfare also. Don't think that we must take care of only the people those who are involved in the project. Now there are people around us around the project. Now we must take their welfare and their needs also. We, to some extent, we have to fulfill their needs also. Isn't it? Be careful. The public relation and also we have different class, different issues. We will discuss about it. Now, in the previous class, we have discussed about it. Initial now this is the stages of construction. The project management commences from from where and ends up with what. Now this is the stages of construction. Sometimes it will be asked in the examination for 10 marks. What are the stages of what are the stages of construction activity? Isn't it? Stages in construction activity. Therefore, remember there are three stages. The, there are still three stages. The first stage that is initialization and feasibility report. Isn't it? Then feasibility report, then that is preliminary estimate. That is the that is the stage one. First stage one, if you want to develop one construct water supply scheme in a village, who will start the project? Who is going to say that we want this scheme? Now somebody will ask, we want a two kilometer road to our village. Who will start that? That is initialization. Who will start that? Either the elected representatives or the people are people in the village. They will say. We want one road. We want to build the road. Isn't that? We want water supply scheme to our village. Isn't that? That is the initialization. Now, when the people ask for a road, people ask for a drainage system, people ask for a water supply scheme, or people ask for an electrical system, electrical system should be implemented, implemented to their village. Now it is a project. These are the projects. Some project. Now the people will ask. The village people around you now you will ask for the benefit that the facility. We want this facility, we want road. We, do, we are for last 70 100 years, we are moving with this kacha road. Now we want one pakka road. Then the people will ask, the people will ask the elected representative. Elected representative may be a even village panchayat member, president or Taluk Panchayat member or Taluk President, Taluk Panchayat President or maybe a Jilla Panchayat member, Jilla Panchayat President. 
no you people are asking no we want this facility you want to create this facility now that is the initialization initialization of the project project any project will come as from that point that is therefore he will call the concerned department engineers and they will ask for the people the people we may ask sometimes they are asking that right nimm urge one neer neer one scheme back neer kudi neer scheme one dot and the 2 lakh 10 lakh shall avu gen martaro avu antha helida immediately they will call the concerned department engineer nodi you are please come here ನೋಡಿ ಈಗ ನಮ್ಮ ಊರ್ನವರೆಲ್ಲ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ನೀರು ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಬೇಕಿದೆ ಒಂದು ನಮ್ಗೊಂದು ವಾಟ್ಸಪ್ ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಡಿಸೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಡಿ ಅಂತ ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೋ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಗೋ ಅಲಾಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಲೈನ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮಿನರಿ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಷನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮಿನರಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮಿನರಿ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಕಲ್ಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರ ಅವರು ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಎಲ್ಲಿಗೆ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ನೀರು ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇದನ್ನ ರೋಡ್ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಇದೆ ಇದು ಎರಡೂವರೆ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅದು ನಾಲ್ಕು ಮೀಟರ್ ಮೂರುವರೆ ಮೀಟರ್ ಸಿಂಗಲ್ ಲೈನ್ ರೋಡ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಅಥವಾ ಟೂ ಲೈನ್ ರೋಡ್ ಮಾಡಲಿಕ್ಕಿದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಅಲ್ಲಿವರೆಗೆ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಎಸ್ಟಿಮೇಷನ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟು ನಮ್ಗೆ ಹದಿನೈದು ಲಕ್ಷ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ದ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪ್ರಿ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮಿನರಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಿಲಿಮಿನರಿ ಇನ್ವೆಸ್ಟಿಗೇಷನ್ ಫೀಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಫೀಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ನಮ್ಗೊಂದು ನೋಡ್ ಬೇಕಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ ಕೂಡಲೇ ರೋಡ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ನಾನ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಫಿಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ದೇರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಅಥಾರಿಟೀಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಯು ಯಾರು ಜನ ಮರ ಮರ ಕಡಿತಾರೆ ಯಾರು ಬಿಲ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಯಾರು ಅರ್ಥ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ದ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಟ್ ಯು ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟೀಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವಾಚಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಔಟ್ ವಿ ಕಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಸಮಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಮೇ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಟು ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಫಿಸಿಬಿಲಿಟಿ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ದಟ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಊರ್ದು ಜನ ಎಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಒಂದು ನೀರಿಂದು ಸ್ಕೀಮ್ ಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಕೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಮಾಡಬಹುದಾ ದ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಕನ್ಸರ್ನ್ ಆಫೀಷಿಯಲ್ ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಡೂ ಇಟ್ ನೋ ಯು ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಟ್ ಯು ಫೈಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ದ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಫೇಸ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಮರ ಕಡಿಬೇಕು ಅಥವಾ ಎಷ್ಟು ಅರ್ಥ ಕಟ್ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಎಷ್ಟು ಅರ್ಥ ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಉಂಟು ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡುವಾಗ ಯಾರಿಗೆ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಮನೆ ಕಟ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಮನೆಗೆ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನೀರಿಗೆ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಪ್ರಾಣಿಗಳಿಗೆ ತೊಂದರೆ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ನಾವು ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಸೆಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ರಿಪೋರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ದ ಇಂಜಿನಿಯರ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಡಿಪಾರ್ಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫೀಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಸಪ್ಲೈ ಟು ದ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಇಟ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಫೈವ್ ಕ್ರೋ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಟೆನ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ one crore like you know they will decide yes. one city is said feasibility report is preliminary estimate is ready then it will go to the authorities yes. administrative authorities yakandre ada kodbeku namge government has to pay the money there are different different stages yes. isn't it one 10 50 sar adre nimm ur panchayat yalle maadi maadlikke aagutade ಐವತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರ ಆದ ಕೂಡಲೇ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಐದು ಲಕ್ಷ ಆದ್ರೆ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಐವತ್ತು ಲಕ್ಷ ಆದ್ರೆ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ಇದು ನಾನು ಒಂದು ಕೋಟಿ ಆದ್ರೆ ಲಿಟ್ಲ್ ಮೋರ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಲೆವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸಸ್ ಇದು ನಾನು ಅಪ್ರೂವಿಂಗ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟಿ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟಿ ಇದು ನಾನು ನೋ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ನೋಟ್ ಡೌನ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಟೂ ಅಥಾರಿಟೀಸ್ ಟು ಎಜುಕು ಎಕ್ಸಿಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ಪ್ರಾಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಟಿವ್ ಅಥಾರಿಟಿ ದ ಅದ ಒನ್ ಈಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ನಿಕಲ್ ಅಥಾ
now you have to prepare the detailed estimate now the now you have to prepare perfect detailed project report now this detailed project report comprises of first go to the site conduct the survey along which you need to do some project take the ground data <coughs> take the ground data then apply your mind prepare the project then transfer to the ground the first collect the data from the ground apply your mind technical knowledge and prepare the data that is final drawings and estimate etc then approval is again then go ahead with this the first initialization preparing the report primary report second one detailed report and third one is execution third one is execution the execution means transferring the drawing to the site now there the project man management starts now this is also the project management stage 1 and stage 2 is also the project man project management but it is in the office is it not project 1 stage 1 and stage 2 is in house in the office the project stage 3 is at the site is it not in house you have computer you have people with you in the office you can prepare whatever you are data available you can prepare the drawing you can prepare the estimate you can collect the data is it not you can design that you can design it <coughs> the elements of the your structure then the third one execution part the most important task is it not so therefore please note and you know in the execution part technical provision supervision quality control measurement payment then completion of work deviation statement now disposal of surplus stores now is it these are the various steps to be followed by the manager then construction team in the last class also we have discussed about it owner engineer then owner engineer contractor builder promoter is it not owner or user who pays the money for your project he is the owner he is the user is it not now for example if you are constructing a road for 100 km length the government will pay the money is it not therefore who is the user the people we are the users is it not we are the owners of the road is it not? right view users are the owner and engineer architect or consultant whoever may be is the designer and now see the contractor and this is the construction team please remember this construction team sometimes it will be asked for your examination for explain that is for explain the construction <coughs> team may be asked for five marks question isn't it? similarly construction resource may be another another question for five marks what are the construction resources explain construction resources manpower material is it not machinery money if you manage wherever you go in the management no this is most important is it not wherever you go that wherever you work the management involves that is money men is it not machine material if you want to become an officer or manager you need to hire there are people around you they work with you is it not you have to manage them you have to manage the office you have to manage the printer computer etc etc is it not you have to manage that is money also and time specified time you, that is the that is the construction resource and you know the need of need for construction management the need any construction activity requires manpower material machinery and finance speed of the construction and commissioning the project into use as early as possible are the 
important factors affecting various units of economy now please remember as early as early as possible the project should be put into use that is the prime primary object of that is construction management and procure various units of economy this calls for managing the managing the procurement and flow of materials manpower planning then and organization sequencing work activities and effective construction management is required to coordinate various agencies and organize the inputs is it not and you know these are the various authorities we will come across with this we have come across the coordinating various agencies and organizing the input in a very in the efficient way now these are the various organizations we need to contact we need to contact them see for each activity for each that is authority we can explain this one one that is one hour one hour one hour one hour there are so many standards set by each authority but remember this for every project you need not go to that authority those authorities still we have that is these are the authorities now we need to address we need to go to the authority these are the various department connected with our project management is it not various department Correct. Now, for all these departments, not necessary to go, is it not? Now, depends upon the size of the project, type of the project, is it not? Where your location of the project. Now, depending upon that, that is project. Suppose if you are building the home, you need not go to anybody. You need go only for your local authority, your village panchayat, municipality, or anywhere around you, is it not? Now, take the prepare the drawing, submit, get the license then you can start construction is it not suppose if you are building if you are building you are high rise building or if you are building an industry in the bikampadi area industrial area then you you have to address 1 2 3 4 then 5 if required is it not department of suppose if you are building very big that is you know apartment like you know 37 floors 52 floors like you know high rise building then you need to address each and every department is it not each and every department they have set their standards we must follow that it is very essential to follow that these all their standards for each and every project there is a different standards depending upon the use depending upon the size depending upon the location now we need to address is it not we need to go and take their permission is it not Now these are the various authorities. If you are building more than 10 meter height building in Mangalore, you must go and take the permission from them. Is it not? If you are constructing more than 20 square meter, 2,000 square meter building, you need you need to go take the permission from the Pollution Control Board. Is it not? If you buy a land, you have to buy the site. You need you need to go and take the permission. Take the layout approval from the Urban Development Authority, isn't it? Like you know, forest department. If you, if if your site consisting of number of trees, then you need to take the permission from them. It is essential, isn't it? If you are constructing a high rise building, or if you are constructing a in this polluting industry, if you are constructing a large industry like MRPL or any other industry, you need to go and take the permission from this. This is a department, and similarly, see now if you put up the industry, you any more than twenty people are working in the industry, we need to submit an application and get their approval. Your drawing should be approved by these authorities. This is not like you know industrial area development board. We have the industrial area development. There again, you can you need to go and take the approval. Then you can build. This is not department of electricity is necessary for everybody. For all the projects, then the water supply scheme is also water supply department is necessary. Drainage board for all the project it is necessary. Whenever you build a building near the airport, near the airport, you have to put up an application to the airport authority also. Take their permission, is it not? Now, suppose if in Mangalore, in the Bajpay area near the around the building around the airport area. you can build only ground plus one isn't it story building we can't build high rise building 
Suppose if you are put up the high rise building, you must take the permission from them. Is it not? Because they will restrict how much height you can. You can see one building here. That is SKS apartment we have here nearby our Karnataka Polytechnic, Mangalore. We have that is that was proposed for 42 story building, 42 story building. But the permission is granted by the airport authority is only 37 story building. Therefore, now it is put up for 37 story building. You need to take the permission. And similarly, suppose if you have put up the building or any the, any construction activity along the railway line, we need to take the permission from the railway authorities. We need to take the NOC from the railway authorities. And the other one we have that is CRZ, Coastal Regulation Zone, near the sea. So, seashore, if you put up the structure, if you put up any activity, if you come up with any project, then you need, you should go and take their permission from the department, that is Coastal Regulation Zone. We have the Nendra Othiri one. If you are put up any activity near the Nendra Othiri one, you need to go and take the permission from this. You put up, you have to put up the application. You must ask for the permission, NOC from these people. Isn't it? Like, you know, that is Employment State Insurance Corporation and PF. Provident fund. It is necessary for all the employees to get register their names and the the it is a central government department. It is authorized to look out look after the welfare of the workers. Similarly, we have that is another one that is Karnataka State Building and Other Construction Workers Welfare Fund. There is huge money is available. That is one percent of the estimation cost. If you are your project cost is more than 10 lakhs, then 1% should be paid. The owner has to pay the 1% of the construction cost, that is estimated cost, to this department. They look after the welfare of our workers, isn't that? They will get money for their children's education. They will get money for their marriages of their children. And they will be they will life cover is there and then hospital risk cover is there. No, they will pay you everything they will pay, isn't it? These are the one government authority, government agency that regulate and maintain the workers in the Karnataka state. Isn't it? Like you know, now then construction team and construction resources we have discussed about it, and then the scientific methods used in construction of course almost we have covered this anyhow you just go through this economic design according to latest technical knowledge and practices already told you that about one example for the concrete mix isn't it the design the latest de economic design that is economic design means you write proper design isn't it? now if you have the knowledge and if you have the knowledge of material if you have the knowledge of the met construction methodology, if you have the knowledge of engineering, no, definitely we can come out with this design, different designs. Similarly, determination of the best method executing each work most economically using the latest techniques. Or that is, um, employ the latest techniques and then, now, now today we have all advanced techniques, isn't it? The, the machine will do the job one in one hour it is equal to 100 men, isn't it? Now today we have the techniques, isn't it? Now therefore let us employ this. Use the latest time and labor saving tools, machines and equipment. <laughs> and use scientific instruments and machines for quality control. Quality control, that is a vibrator, like you know, now you mixers, use that. Manually don't mix the concrete, use the mixer. Then vibrator, use the vibrator to pour the concrete. Employ the right method, isn't it? Then complete elimination of all possible ways, most important, that is we can achieve the efficient construction. Then preparation of material schedule to ensure timely availability of the competent workers of different categories. Now you have to organize the people, men, material and also the money. There is preparation of labor schedule to ensure timely availability of competent workers 
of different categories. Competent workers, please remember competent workers. For right job, employ the right person. Barbender cannot do the shuttering work. Farm work. Farm work cannot be, you, the barbender cannot work as a carpenter. The mason cannot be, cannot work as a barbender. Is it not? A competent mixer cannot become a driver of the, your truck. Is it not? Be careful, employ, very carefully you have to employ the people for the right job. Then scientific selection of workers to ensure it was the best suited and competent for the task assigned to him. Introduction of wage system linked to nature of nature and skill, nature of skill and individual output. Is it not individual output? One mason one day he will complete 150 square, 120 square square meter of that is plastic work. Another mason is there, he will complete only 50 square meter. Is it not? One oh, five, five square meter. Is it not? There are masons, number of masons working around in our building. Uh, one mason is doing 20 square meter, another mason is doing 10 square meter. Then fix the right wage. For 100, for 20 square meter, the person who is doing the 20 square meter blasting and 10 square blasting, both are same, do you think? Then you have to fix the right wage, isn't it? You have to find out the introduction, introduce the wage, isn't it? Based on the work, is it not? Based on their output. And the estimation, budget development, and financial schedule, these are the aspects prepared well before. Sometimes this will be asked for the examination, 10 marks, is it not? Okay. Then similarly, use of modern techniques like the CPM and then FERT. Now these are some methods, techniques, advanced methods used to prepare uh, the scheduling, the project, project scheduling, then work scheduling, material scheduling, now these are the tools to be used. There is a chapter for this, we will discuss in that chapter, isn't it? Uh, similarly, use of scientific method for recording research and consumption of materials, day-to-day -to -day progress of work, replenishment of equipment, machine. Now everything should be recorded. Everything should be recorded in the office. Now, please remember, <coughs> if you are a small operator, small project engineer, you take one notebook of 200 page notebook and every day you need to record what is the amount of material, which material received and how much it is consumed. You keep one person to write this, isn't it? Therefore, you must have the accountability for each and everything to become a good manager, isn't it? Good project manager. So therefore, you keep the records of all these things and cost control studies and periodical audit ensures the actual expenditure. Every day, now you are proposing a project for 50 lakh rupees worth building or 1 crore for road work. Then after progressing, at the time of progressing, after reaching 50%, then you have to audit, you have to find out what is the amount already spent. What is the money you have again to spend? Can we are we able to con are, are we able to complete the project for the specified estimated amount? That you have to decide, isn't it? The project engineer has to decide. Isn't it? Sometimes maybe design may be wrong, construction work may be wrong, you may be receiving the less material, and you may be isn't it? There are other errors. So therefore, keep update every time when you estimate the project for a particular money amount budget, you keep updating, we keep auditing, that is every frequently, uh, once in 10 days, or once after reaching 100 meters, after reaching 200 meters, or once in 20 days, like you know, you set up your own plan, isn't it? You won't set your plan and execute it. Task control studies, periodical audit, isn't it? Like you know, again, the construction team, isn't it? Now, Reputation, reputation, reputation. We keep talking about it. Is it not? They might have a major work of the subject is He came at the other in the keep doing it. Is it not? Okay. Understood? Yes. Now I think at this point I have time. Thank you very much for all the participants. We'll meet again the next Tuesday, that is on fifth.
Thank you very much for everybody. Thank you a lot.